Hello, we are Team Mech. My name is Ricardo Melgar. I'm Alan Toro. I'm Brian Monroy. I'm Juvenal Flores. And I'm Carlos Juarez. And we are East Los Angeles College Engineering Technology students currently enrolled in Professor Arden Davidian's General Engineering 101 course for the fall 2016 semester. And we will be presenting our uh, final uh, Sterling Engine uh, design. Now, our Sterling Engine is comprised of aluminum cans that act as our, as our cylinders, uh, copper tubing, steel wiring for our crankshaft and connecting rods, a uh, compact disc flywheel, a wooden frame, and a steel wool displacer piston inside of the, of, the, of the cylinder. This Sterling engine works by using the change in temperature provided by the cold water on top and a heat source at the bottom. The heat source pressurizes the display um, under it and the cold water depressurizes the air above it. This, help, this helps the displacer move up. The pressure created by the displacer moving up and down um, is transferred via these pipes into our diaphragm. The diaphragm then inflates, pushing this rod up into our crankshaft into a rotational motion that in turn moves the displacer up and down again. Our flywheel is here to capture the momentum and keep the cycle going. Now while the engine is running, we'll perform an efficiency test by removing the heat source. It should slow down the engine. Now we'll reapply the heat source, which should speed the engine back up. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time.